I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to check out something new from MJX RC. I have a Bugs 5W here. It is a brushless quadcopter with GPS. It has maps on board. It has an independent flight app where you can see what's going on on the video screen. And it does fly in mode one and two. It comes with an extra set of six inch props. You have a 2S 1800 milliamp battery that comes along with it. And what's cool about this battery is it also has a locking mechanism on it, so it's not gonna come out mid-flight. That's super important. The radio also has a display right on the front right here. It's gonna show you all the telemetry, how many satellites you have loaded up to it. And you have return to home headless mode, and you should have two different flight modes on here as well, including orbit mode and follow me. So we're gonna test those out today during our flight. But what I'm really excited about is the camera that's on here. This is a 1080p vertical adjustable camera on here. And there is a gimbal wheel on this transmitter, unlike some of the other MJX drones out there. Right on the top right here, you have a gimbal wheel. So you can go up and down. You have your photo button here. If you long press it, you'll start the video or you can start it from inside the app. And I'll show you that in a minute. But we also have return home here and we have an unlock and a lock function over here on this side. Auto takeoff and auto land. And this is where my iPhone is gonna go right here on the very top right here. It'll just clip into place. You have the power button in the very center. And check this out. You can see the GPS right there is on. If you switch it to B right there, it's going to be on GPS. If you switch it back to A, it's in something called gesture mode. And gesture mode is simply GPS off without your GPS lock. So this will hold altitude and hold its spot up in the air once we take off. And we'll test that. But you see how the satellites disappear right there on the telemetry? If I turn it back on, when you load up this quad for the first time, make sure that it's switched into B mode or you're not gonna have any GPS lock or you're not gonna record the home point. So it's gonna be super important. But over here on this side, you'll see the TX battery level. And below that, you'll see the RX battery level, which is the receiver coming from your quad to let you know what your quad's battery level is. Keep an eye on that while you're flying because uh, if you get below 20%, you might, you might not have enough uh, battery to make it back to your home point. So uh, whenever I get low on a battery, I usually fly in pretty close to home. Now if I switch into headless mode, you can see there it does come on the screen. So now I'm in headless mode, but I'm gonna start out not flying in headless mode and we're gonna start out flying with GPS. So my GPS count will be right there. And I think we got like nine satellites on the test this morning. And just beside that, we have the height from the home point. It's gonna be in meters and then the distance from the home point. So we should be able to get out there about 300 meters with this drone today. And I'll do some distance testing on it and we'll see how it records. I do have a micro SD card popped in the very back of the gimbal right here, which is super nice. It has some dampening here as well, but the camera doesn't go left and right. So it only goes up and down, which is totally fine. You have those standard twist on and off style props, 1806 motors on here, and we do have some sort of extended landing gear. And by the way, guys, you can take this camera off. If you wanted to fly it first without the camera, you can still fly this without the camera, train with this quad, and then put the camera back on it. And then you're probably not as likely to crash if it's your first experience with the drone. So that's kind of a nice option. Now also in the box, you do have a USB style charger. It plugs into your PC. And then this little clip right here is gonna go right into this end of the battery right here where you see the teeth on the end. And it should take a couple hours to charge up that battery. You get some stickers. You get a little uh, kind of a motor twist lock holding. This is kind of goes around the very top right here and you can twist that nut down. When you tighten those down, make sure they are nice and tight. They do have a rubber grommet just underneath where this thumb nut goes on, and that's gonna keep that locked in place so that they don't back off during flight. And lastly, you get a screwdriver, which is cool. So let's go ahead and open up the app, and uh, we'll calibrate the compass and get this new quad up in the air, and we'll show you some video footage. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is turn on your transmitter and then you wanna push the battery in. And once you push it in, it doesn't have an on and off button on this quad, so it's just gonna automatically turn on. Go ahead and swivel that little lock to the vertical position, and then you're gonna be locked. Now, you see that the lights are blinking kind of yellow color, alternating back and forth on the bottom of the quad. That means that it wants you to compass calibrate this. So you're gonna go ahead and rotate it on your horizontal axis all the way around until you see green. 
and then you're going to go vertical with it and you're going to calibrate it this direction so come all the way around on the vertical position with the camera pointing straight down and you'll see these two lights change to green and red so now we're calibrated with the compass and we can go ahead and go into the Wi-Fi you want to select the bugs listing in Wi-Fi with a series of numbers after it and then go out of that and you're going to go to your bugs go app and this is very at the very end right here now you want to select which quadcopter it is because the bugs go app does several different types of quads that MJX RC makes so go ahead and select B5W and hit go and now you're going to come in it's going to have an introduction to the beginner here you can check out all the different modes I'm going to tell you about all the different stuff on the screen here which is cool and you click down at the very bottom it's going to take you to our live view so now we can see the live view there and Wi-Fi in my experience does have a little bit of lag but this should be pretty good we're going to be recording the video down to the SD card too so there shouldn't be a whole lot of uh, kind of lag in the video itself which is great it does show that I have 14 satellites there that's absolutely awesome and we should be good for takeoff so I have 14 satellites still and my compass is calibrated let's go ahead and start recording the video and do a takeoff and you can arm the props by two different ways. You can press that little red lock button on there. Actually, all you have to do is press it once and it's gonna start the motors. If you press it and hold it, it should stop the motors, just like that. And I'll press it again, that starts them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that type of takeoff. You can also do the sticks down into the center and that will actually arm the quad as well. So, or sticks and out, will stop it. So we're gonna go ahead and go sticks down to the center. And I'll go ahead and, uh, Hit auto takeoff here on the left hand side and we'll see what kind of lock we have. We're just going to check out our GPS lock first. That's probably one of the most important things to do to see if it starts to toilet bowl or wander around. And there's virtually no wind out here today which is really really nice. It is a little bit close to my canopy. It's kind of drifting a little bit but it's counteracting the wind which is awesome. This guy will actually kind of bite into the wind a little bit and tilt into the wind if it does have a headwind. So let's go ahead and start the video now on board. I got it recording to my micro SD card and we'll just cruise out here a little while. I'll show you some video footage here. I'm going to come up a little higher because this camera doesn't tilt up too far. So we're going to get it as far up as we can get it. And that's about the maximum vertical distance we can get so if you're going to want to record a lot of the horizon you're going to have to go up pretty high so i'm just going to gain some altitude right now it says i'm about 55 56 distance from the home point is 162 and i'm just cruising forward there i'm going to stop for a second kind of check out my view it says aircraft not connected so it looks like we lost connection I'm just gonna pull back on the stick and you know we could probably do a return to home now if we want to just to test that out and see what it does it is on its way back I'm not sure if it's gonna turn around and face us and to get out of return to home you can also press it again on your transmitter and it should stop the return to home we weren't out there that far, folks, for it to really lose connection. The Wi-Fi is, you know, sometimes Wi-Fi connections are not that reliable. And that all depends on, you know, what the interference is like. Let's try going this direction. Wi-Fi is a little bit laggy. Okay, I'm going to stop the video there. And we're going to go in a new direction. Started the video again. Let's go ahead and head this direction. I'm going to save enough battery so that we can try out the follow me function. I have my electric skateboard here today, so we'll do some skating. And I'm just going to go, I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go up a little higher. Let's just go up. I can still see it line of sight, so I'm not too worried about losing connection. It does still say aircraft connected and it went to aircraft not connected again. So. It lost connection again there for a second, but it does say we are about 111 feet up. So I'm just going to cruise there, cruise forward a little bit. 
I don't know if you guys can see the props in this view or not. It's kind of hard to tell from the app itself, but I can click on the middle of the screen, remember, up there where that eyeball is, and make it just full screen video, and that's really nice. And if you're going out there a long distance forward, if you lose connection from the app, just pull back on the stick and it should come back the direction that you flew out. So I'm a pretty good ways out there. I'm just gonna stop for a second. It looks like the app kind of lost its connection again. It's, it does say aircraft connected, but I don't see anything on the live view there. I do have 16 satellites though, which is kind of great. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull back on the stick again. And you know the return to home actually works really, really good with this quad. It comes back really quickly. So I'm pulling back on the stick to come back. Gonna wait to see when that live view comes back into play here. Now if you keep it closer in, like around in this field right here, since I left this field, it seems like the Wi-Fi is not working that great. So one thing to uh, consider with this quad. If you go way out there, you might lose Wi-Fi connection. And I'm just gonna stop the video. And you can do 3D view on here as well. You can actually do some FPV goggles. If you had some Google Cardboard goggles, you can put your phone in there, which is pretty neat. It'll do the split screen thing for you. And how about we come in a little bit closer, guys. I'm recording video again. Let's, let's do some straight down camera shots for you. I'm just gonna point the camera all the way at the ground there and hopefully it will update my live view. All right, so now I can see the live view. I'm just gonna go to the left a little bit because there's some really cool stuff below us right here. There's sort of a little, kind of a little tree farm over there. Some really cool little streams and stuff going through there. So I'll get over top of something interesting and I'll try to record some of that with that straight down vertical view. That's looking pretty cool. It says aircraft not connected again, so it is having some connection issues. But I can still see it and fly it line of sight. I'm going backwards here. It's gonna keep going backwards and record some of that video for you. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and put the camera straight forward again, all the way up. And I'm gonna hit return to home again and we'll bring it back this direction. And by the way, while this thing is returning to home, if you get this quad and it doesn't connect to your transmitter, it's really easy to bind up MJX transmitters to the quad. Just turn on the quad first and then you're gonna hold down this lock button and hit the on button at the same time while holding down the lock button. And that's gonna bind it up for you. Look, it's already back, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna hit return to home again. We'll stop that. I can hit it on the app as well. And my screen still hasn't updated, folks. There it goes, now it's back. So it seems like after like a couple hundred yards out there, I'm losing Wi-Fi connection. And as you're coming down, if you're, you're trying to record some cinematic video, you're gonna get a lot of bouncing on the way down on this drone. But let's see, let's turn around and film ourselves here. Hi guys, come back in a little closer. Let's do some follow me with the electric skateboard. We'll test out follow me and we'll try out the orbit mode as well. We'll see how low we can get with that follow me. So I'm gonna stop the video here, grab the skateboard. Now before we do that, let's just go ahead and let it return to home and land. I wanna see how close it can get to this home point. And it is a little bit close to my canopy, so normally you wouldn't set up your landing pad so close to your canopy, all you new guys. Learn the mistakes from the pros, guys. If it does look like it's gonna land on something, you can click back on the app on that green button, and you can take it out of return to home, which is cool. So don't worry about it too much, but if it does come within a 10-foot parameter of the home point right here, then that is a pretty good GPS lock and a pretty good quad. And I've already seen another reviewer have theirs pretty much almost land on the landing pad. So it's still coming down. Still coming down. And I'm wondering if this quad is going to turn the motors off. Wow. Holy crap. 
Okay, a very, very big positive about this quad is that the GPS is almost perfect, almost exactly where it took off from. I mean, we literally inches away from where we took off. Most of the quads I demo on the channel, and I've been doing this for years, a lot of them land outside the landing pad or land sometimes just on it, but I've never ever seen a quad land exactly on the H. So I, that's very impressive. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start the video again and take back off. I've got the electric skateboard over here, so let's try out the orbit mode first, and then we'll try follow me. We have enough battery, we should be able to do both. Gonna come back off the ground, and let's go ahead and hit the orbit function there. It's asking me a question, start the orbit, we'll say yes. And it's still recording. Wonder if I can turn the camera down while I'm orbiting. Yeah, I can actually, that's cool. So you can still use the gimbal tilt wheel while you're orbiting, which is great. You can kind of get that perfect trajectory there. And I was standing about over here when we started, so let's play fair there. It should go right around me at this point when I hit the button. And let's see if I can yaw. I can't yaw. Nope. Okay, so the orbit mode does work. That's cool. Let's try out some follow me. So I'm going to stop that now. Right there. Alright, let's try some uh, skateboarding. We're still recording video. Follow me. Yes. Alright, I wonder how high up it'll go. So we're just going to try to get it above the trees a little bit and point down at me. It's a pretty cool view right there. I'm still recording video on the quad. I'm going to hop on the skateboard and see if it follows me. This will be interesting to see if the aircraft does follow or connect, stay connected to the Wi-Fi. So it fell out of follow me. So now it's looking for me again. I, I started it all over again. I'm gonna tilt the camera up a little bit so you see me in the live view right here. So now it should be following us. Okay, we're gonna try that again. And we're going. Drone is moving now. Cool. Let's see how fast we can get this thing going. It says aircraft connected still. I do have a view on the live screen there. That's cool. Drone is still following me. I'm gonna do a circle here, half circle and go back toward the drone. We'll see what it does once I turn around. We'll see what kind of action it takes. Is it gonna stay far enough away from me to keep recording me in the screen? I'm just gonna tilt the screen down. It looks like the app froze up again on the video view. You might still see me here, I don't know. I can't see you guys from the live view. All right, I'm just gonna stop here for a second. It looks like the follow me works this way, this direction and that direction. Okay, now I'm back to the live view. Okay, it looks like we have a low battery alarm. It's gonna stop the video there. And we'll try follow me one more time until it goes into fail safe. It should do a low battery return to home. So I'm going to start the video again. I want to see if this connection stays on on the app. I think this quad actually does, it'll probably do 30 miles an hour on the follow. It isn't follow me right now. I'm just going to look back. It's still sitting there in one spot. So let's go ahead and uh, hit return to home again and see how close it lands. We're recording video, and I'm going to hit return to home. It's going to go up, head back over this direction. Ride my Team G board today, you guys. This is a super low profile electric skateboard. Super thin battery. I think it was like 12 millimeters thick. It's crazy thin. So it's still coming down in RTL, return to land, 14 satellites, and I'm getting pretty lucky with these return to homes. 
The LEDs on the bottom are red, so now it's looking for its spot to land. That is pretty incredible. The other one was a little bit better, but that's not bad, you guys. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. So here on the second return to home and on the H on the first one, that's uh, totally incredible. I'm gonna stop the video and uh, we'll give some final thoughts about this quad over here on the bench. I'm gonna turn off the drone now so that the transmitter will stop that beeping. So you're definitely gonna know when your battery is low because your transmitter's just gonna start really, really beeping at you. Okay, so we're back on the bench. Let's give some final thoughts about the Bugs 5W. Well, I've seen some really good reviews on this one and uh, I, I think people are pretty impressed with this. It does fly ultra smooth like a lot of the MJX quads do. Now, I did have some issues with the Wi-Fi connection to the phone, kind of not updating the live view. So that was kind of an issue for me. So um, it, it did freeze up quite a bit. That might be one con about this particular quad. So if you're looking for some type of GPS drone that has a really good real-time connection, this is the iPhone 7. So if you do have an iPhone and 5G on there, you can connect to that Wi-Fi. But I did have a lot of issues with it disconnecting and even a couple hundred yards out there um, a couple hundred meters which is is really not that far so I, I was expecting it would do a little better on the live view now what I did like was the flight time it seemed to have a nice long flight time uh, probably got 13 minutes out of the flight time I also like that it has brushless 1806 motors quick release props it comes with an extra set of props which is great that's a good value and it does come with a USB 2s battery charger uh, it does not have a 3s battery option on here but you get a lot of stuff along with it and i think their drones are a pretty good value and it looks like they're heading in a really cool direction with all the modes they're starting to add so you might end up having a miniature dji style drone for uh, a toy quad cost and, and they're getting closer to that mjx probably does um, just as good a quality as something like hub sand so if you're looking for some type of toy drone with GPS on it to learn your orientations or just to play around and have some fun with a 1080p camera, you can do that with this quad. Um, just don't expect a, a, a really real-time view all the time. Um, and, and for long distance testing this quad, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. So if you wanna fly long distances, uh, this one's gonna cut out on you, which is uh, probably about uh, three stars out of five for the app, the real-time view. Now, as far as flying goes, I would say this is a 4.9 out of five, and I usually don't give a five-star rating on any quads on the channel, but this one does exceptionally well on the flying side of things. And the GPS connection, the return to home point that we landed exactly on the H, that was incredible that it did that. So I'm impressed with the flying and the GPS and all the modes that they put into this quad. I think that overall gives it about a 4.5 rating out of five. Um, it is a good value for what it is. And pretty much all of the drones out there with some type of Wi-Fi connection usually do show a bit of lag and um, that comes along with Wi-Fi quads, but uh, yeah, that's about it for this review, you guys. I, I think it's a, a pretty decent quad. I'm not going to give it a full five-star rating, but um, it's a fun one to fly, and I, I think it's actually got a lot to offer. And uh, I think I'm going to keep flying this one. This one is really, really solid, and it's going to be a great trainer for you uh, at, at a pretty decent price. But anyway, guys, please do check out my Patreon. We're getting that started for 2018. And uh, if you enjoy the channel, please support me on Patreon because I'm doing a lot of work for you guys. Pretty much trying to release a video almost daily, five days a week for you guys, sometimes six days a week, just continually pumping out the content for you guys and, and trying to help the community out by doing that. But check out my Patreon and please do subscribe on the channel. And uh, thanks for checking out the MJX Bugs 5W. It's a, a pretty cool quad. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.